This is my belly tank hot rod. It's based on a 1943 Mustang wing tank off a Mustang aeroplane. Got standard flying 12 chassis and it's also got a Ford V4 engine and various other bits cobbled together to make it run. A belly tank is a fuel tank off an aeroplane, carries fuel for long range bombing. Apparently the, this belly tank was actually um, recovered in the sea off a dungeon S by a, a father of a, one of the girls I used to go out with when I was a kid. It was put in his shed for many years and it was quite a surprise when we found it 50 years later. I was inspired to build the belly tank after watching YouTube videos of guys racing on the salt flats in Utah, trying to achieve 200, maybe 300 miles an hour in what was essentially an old fuel tank off an aeroplane. The main difficulties in building a belly tank, especially this one, is the fact that the body shell is only 8 foot long and 16 inches deep. So managing to get anything inside of it has been very hard. Luckily I'm not very big, so that's helped. And then using the V4 engine, which is a very, very compact unit, has made it possible. To build a belly tank is really challenging. There was no one thing that was really difficult. Everything was a pain in the arse to get right. To get round the problems really was a case of just laying it awake in the middle of the night, thinking it through in your head, trying to work out where you could fit everything. I knew the engine and gearbox had to go where it had to go, and then everything else was just jammed in around it to fit. To drive it is a little bit sketchy. Um, it's very low geared, so the wheels spin up really easy. Because the V4's got loads of torque, it's normally better to pull away in second gear and just ease the power in, then it's okay. It steers really nice, it doesn't roll around very much, so it's just good fun. But I haven't, to be fair, I haven't been much above about 50 miles an hour in any hour. So. I definitely get a buzz out of driving something you've built, yes. To be the only one and the only kind is quite unique and it definitely gives you a buzz. Yeah, I think most people would consider it a bit of a death trap. I think it depends where you are and where you're driving. If you're in an open space and you're taking it, it's easy and sensible, there's not a problem. I don't think that was the right answer really, was it? <laughs> Is it a death trap? Yeah, of course it's a bloody death trap. <laughs>